What's going on guys when I banded back again with yet another video talking about more Dragon Ball Fighters and today I want to bring up the discussion about season 3 for fighters once more because there is speculation that we won't get any season 3 at all and we are just going to get the balance patch of course but I just want to talk about why it makes sense that we will get a season 3 because obviously we've gotten like people who you know hop on their PCs and show us the data mines that we, that we get and of course there has been data mine for four new characters and you know that just means to a lot of people we are going to get season three but obviously that's not confirmed by anybody so I just wanted to like really really delve into why we like why it just makes sense that we would get a season three so Dragon Ball Fighters came out and it was a hype game right from the start people from all over were just like I have to get this game because this game is obviously it's a fighting game but you slap Dragon Ball on there and it's gonna sell like hotcakes because not only was it a proper fighting game this is this is like like think of your Mortal Kombat and your Street Fighters and stuff like that this was a proper fighting game and that brought the FGC over the fighting game community over um, and it made Dragon Ball Fighters sell amazingly obviously it hasn't sold more than like Xenoverse but you know Xenoverse has been out for a while um, and that series has done extremely well also and so I mean just these two series alone both of them they are going to get sequels regardless of what uh, anybody says um, because if you if you guys don't know Dragon Ball has to have a new release every single year so although I don't believe we'll get Dragon Ball Fighters 2 that soon I do believe we will get it I just don't think we'll get it in you know exchange for instead of season three right because I feel like a lot of people feel like once world tour happens in January there's only but two announcements they can give us they can give us season three with new characters or they can just give us a whole brand new game but with with a Dragon Ball game being released every single year obviously we're about to get Dragon Ball Z Kakarot which comes out in 2020 um, that just leaves the debate for 2021 and I think the speculation behind 2021 is are we gonna get Fighters 2 or are we gonna get Xenoverse 3 because one or the other definitely has to come out because both games were so successful and I think the PlayStation 5 might have a big role to play within that because uh, PlayStation 5 just means new gen it means you know people are <laughs> going to buy this thing and you know to accompany it they want to give us a or new games that look beautiful on this system and so um, I definitely feel like the PlayStation 5 plays a big part but <clears throat> the reason season 3 makes so much more sense is because we are getting Dragon Ball Z Kakarot next year they don't want to have to promote Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and a you know Fighters 2 in the same year so they are going to most likely give us season 3 same thing for like a Xenoverse 3 right they it, you don't want to drop they they don't drop two Dragon Ball games on the same consoles basically in a row right it's every single year so that's the way we have to look at it and season 3 just means you know they only have to promote a character but so often you know drop the character every couple of months boom that's the promo that goes into that game um, and to do that for one more year doesn't seem too bad I mean I don't know if they'll give us a world tour 3 right give us a Dragon Ball Fighters world tour 3 and then you know at that world tour they announce here's fighters 2 for 2021 or 2022 but I mean most fighting games don't they don't drop back to back right Mortal Kombat 10 to 11 that was like a five year gap maybe I believe I don't really I don't really know um, but I, I just know a lot of fighting games they don't drop you know back to back to back they drop years at a time you want the full fighting game to develop a little bit um, people join tournaments people get better and so on and so on and to just throw a new fighters at us really just doesn't make too much sense give us you know season three and let us get 
let us like explore the game more with the new combos that we get from the balance patch and you know new tier list that we get for season three things like that and i mean when we really like start to think about it arxis has opened a floodgate for so many more anime fighting games like they they can give us you know a naruto style fighting game i wouldn't mind a naruto fighters like sequel to dragon ball right imagine them saying okay we're not going to make fighters 2 but we're going to give you guys naruto next right just imagine if we don't get sequels for these games we just get the the next anime for them instead that would be kind of dope so you know you get your naruto next and then you get your you you haka shows or your hunter hunter or whatever whatever fighting anime game you could think of they just decide to give us that for a sequel instead i think that could be really really cool and they would play off of each other or whatever and you know you know maybe down the line then we start to get you know those fighters to naruto to like i don't know i'm just kind of rambling on at this point but that's to me why season three makes sense because they they don't want to have to promote so many games at the same time like i i hope that i can like i hope that i'm like getting through to you guys and you know i think season three just makes the most sense when it all is said and done and I like I'm genuinely curious are you guys excited for a season three do you think a season three is going to happen do you think we're not gonna get a new fighters at all do you think we're gonna get fighters two instead like what what do you guys really really think about this topic because again I feel like a lot of people think we're not going to get a season three and honestly I think the alternative to a season three is a fighters two and I, I honestly don't think we're going to get a Fighters 2 so soon because this game is honestly still, it's still kind of a baby, right? Um, it's still only on its second life cycle, going on three. We'll get e we'll get it at EVO again next year most likely, so Dragon Ball Fighters Season 3, EVO 3, it just makes sense. I don't know. What do you guys think? But anyways, guys, I just wanted to bring up this topic just to really talk about it and let you let you guys know my thoughts on it so um i just want to know what you guys think now but if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe please remember that god and enemy are always on your side please come join the bandit army that's all i got for y'all peace out